Growth is popping up in one Nashville neighborhood, and now the people who live there find themselves in deep water. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us now. Kyle, a developer snafu caused the stormwater to collect, and it's feet deep. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that it, it comes from right up here. We're just uphill from 35th Avenue North and the house that we're talking about. It goes this way. The water comes down and it pulls up right there. You can see it's actually blocked by the yards right here on the street. Water just ends up being pretty high all the way up to the mailbox. Oh, the strange problems growth brings. It seems Nashville's its city status brings some pretty unique pains. Take, for example, Chris Atkinson's neighborhood, where the homes are diverse. Some are new, some are old, and they all look so different. New growth has created problems for Atkinson. Builders extended the yards of nearby lots, but created this buffer. This used to be an access road that used to come through here, uh, where these yards are built now. You can see the telephone poles in these yards that they've built. Uh, this was an access road that the, used to go to the older houses that were here before they tore them down. Here's what happens when it rains. Metro Council Member Kathleen Murphy says this shouldn't happen. And it created some serious problems for the surrounding neighbors. Having flooding where you can't get in and out of your driveway, having mud where you can't get out in and out of your driveway, it's just, it's not acceptable to think that one developer can do that to the surrounding neighbors and, and be allowed to continue building. Murphy says the yard shouldn't have been allowed to be built past the light pole here into the right of way. She's received multiple complaint emails and has been trying to get the builder to do something about this for six months. A stop work order has been placed on the properties until something is done. We did talk to the developer on the phone. He said he was approved by the city to build the property exactly as shown here. I don't think it's our fault. I don't think it's anybody's fault. Akbar Arab works for TNG contractors. He says this problem will go away when the city approves their temporary fix to the drainage issue. This solution is going to go in immediately after the stormwater people are happy with it. Their permanent fix is to make the road the exact way it was before, but that will take a year. Too long for Atkinson. There's never been a person who's like, I'm going to take charge of this. We're going to go ahead and get this done and then it's going to be fixed. An Arab says that he wishes that he would have installed a ditch from the beginning now. Councilmember Murphy said she believes there might have been some type of miscommunication for this to be allowed to happen. She wants to find a way to prevent it from happening in the future. Reporting live in Nashville, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Kyle, thanks.